Good afternoon. This is Pamela Bluewater for J&S Biblical Productions, July 16, 2017. We have been looking at a passage from Matthew, chapter 19, verse 26, in which Jesus, after answering his disciples' question, who can be saved, he proclaimed, with men, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. To expand on this idea, we have invited here today in the studio an expert on the book of Genesis, the creation story, to show that with God, all things are possible. Welcome from Vienna, Austria, Dr. Gretchen Hammerschmied. Hello. It's good to have you here. Nice to be here. So, Dr. Hammerschmied, can I call you Gretchen? Yeah. We're going to take up the subject today that God can do anything. You have some documented facts on this? Yes. First, what we know written in the first book of Genesis, verses 24 through 25 on the fifth day. I'd like to give you an example of how, some of my examples, of what is meant by Jesus when he said, with God, all things are possible. Let me show you. First, let's take a look at the species of birds in the world. New research led by the American Museum of Natural History suggests that there are about 18,000 bird species in the world, twice as many as previously thought. Birds that look similar to one another or thought to interbreed are actually different species. Interesting. Number two, animals. Now, let's take a look at the animals in general, from the Arnwald to the zebra. 10,000 species of animals are, discover are discovered each year, with over one and a half million species already described based on what the book of Genesis refers to as created by God in chapter 1, verse 25. All right, now we're going to go next to the reptiles. There are listed 1,085 reptile species in the reptile data database with a total of 25 16 subspecies referred to in verses 24 through 26 as creeping things. Number four, fish. In 2010, scientists say that they find more than 2 million species of marine life. So far in the census of marine life comprised of 15,304 species of fish. The census is adding about eh, 150 to 2,000 2, species of fish each year. Crazy, right? Okay, next, insects. Then there are insects. There are about 950,000 species worldwide, with only 91,000 species in the United States, according to the Department of Systematic Biology of the Smithsonian Institution. This includes 18,000 species of butterflies. All right. Now, for the first time ever, scientists have assessed the state of plants in the world, except for algae and mosses. According to the report, State of the World's Plants, released by the Royal Botanical Gardens in the United Kingdom, there are about 391,000 species currently known to science. Of these, about 369,000, or 94%, are flowering plants. Now about all of the land creatures, now I'm going to return to the sea for two more categories, mollusks and crustaceans. Mollusks are a very large class of intervertebrates with soft, unsegmented bodies with no internal skeletons. They include snails, slugs, um, clams, squid, starfish, and of course the octopus. There are about 50,000 species of them in 10 classes. And finally, the crustaceans. An aquatic group with legs and a tough outer shell, such as crabs, lobsters, crayfish, shrimp, and barnacles. There are about four to 50,000 species. Well, that's about all created by God. See chapters in Genesis. God's creations make the impossible obviously look possible. Wait a minute. I'm the receptionist here at JNS, and I've been doing a study of my own. Oh, you have? We haven't said yet that Dr. Heimerschmidt is infallible. 
What have you discovered? Dr. Harmerschmid left out fungus. According to the University of Tartu National History Museum, there are over 45,000 species of fungi. The largest biodiversity study so far. Well, I didn't say I was infallible. We're just talking about God's creations outside of mankind. By the way, there are also about four basic human races. Well, you shouldn't have left out fungus. What kind of doctor are you? A doctor of philosophy and a doctor of divinity. That's farther than you're going to get. It's none of your business how far I'm going to get. Then you must be one of those funguses. Oh, yeah? How about trying this fungus for size? What are you doing? What is that? Ladies, oh, ladies. <gasps> Did this just happen? What? This is an interview. What are you doing? OK, OK. Ladies, ladies, please. Let's, let's not degenerate this discussion into the worth of a fungi. Of course, God created the fungus and all living creatures in six days because it said so. God, can routinely, God routinely does the impossible. I'm glad we cleared that up. This is Pamela Bluewater for J&S Biblical Productions saying good afternoon. What are your thoughts on today's story? We'd like to know. So leave a comment and subscribe to our channel, JNS Authentic Biblical Productions. Whether it's the word of God through parables, true stories illustrating parables, or true stories in the life of Jesus Christ with commentary, you can see them all by subscribing to the most comprehensive collection of videos of biblical stories for you and your family. Have a blessed day.